guys good morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i am vlogging today over the next couple of days so kind of a weekly vlog we've got here today but actually headed to joe malone to discover a new range that they brought out lavender based i think i'll talk to you more about that later on but it's in selfridges in manchester and then there is also blink brow bar have invited me to have lamination brows which i have had done once before not with them and i was unsure only because i thought my hairs were quite long so it's quite like a dramatic change for me so i've asked them if it's possible to trim and do it so we'll see how i go this time i don't hate it it's just one of those treatments that i was like mm, would i pay for it being completely honest i don't know if i would however this one is also gifted so i'm going to try it with the trim see how i like it this time let me show you my full outfit of the day in the spare room now that i have the big mirror in there it's that time of the year where we have literally all four seasons in a day here in manchester so i have this hooded mac from zara a zara brown blazer on and then this gorgeous like knit t-shirt it's a really nice cream knit fabric from H&M. These jeans are mom style from Selected Fam. And then my Primark five pound trainers, chunk of trainers. So very cream look. Oh, and Beanie is from Urban Outfitters. Let's get on the road. Let's head off to Manchester and I'll see you guys when I get there. Make sure you're comfy, relaxed and ready for the rest of this vlog. I've just got in my car and remembered I've got a whole car full of things to take to the charity shop. Good job, I am not planning on doing too much shopping today. Oh, I love this little shop, look at it, at all the colours. Yeah, that's very pleasing. <laughs> Max got a lot smaller. <laughs> so what is it? Dark eye shall I say. Beauty, uh, beauty, beauty concierge now. Jo Malone's at the back, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Jo We've arrived, so we've shot our outfits. Right. Oh, let's discover the lavender scent. We have some lavender white chocolate. Give this a try. Let's see the little bits of lavender in it. <laughs> That's quite good. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Swipes. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Celine and also. That reminds um, me of something. What's no. uh, lavender coriander? Coriander. Oh, I love that. So, yeah, it's really quite strong. It's very aromatic. It's very herbaceous. Absolutely gorgeous. So this has got meadow foam seed and caffeine in, so really, really nourishing to the skin. But as well, when it's infused with the steam from your shower, oh my goodness, it just leaves the bathroom smelling gorgeous. So I'm now at my second appointment. Thank you. Lovely. Love this yeah. pen. <laughs> it's, it's like a Mrs. Hinch pen if you follow her. So I'm just going to fill out my consultation. I'm actually at Blink and I'm going to be having brow lamination. So this is a before with makeup on. Uh, but I'll show you a bit of the process of what I look like without any makeup on and then the sort of process of getting the brow lamination done. This is pretty much without any makeup on my eyebrows. So this stage is, are you allowed to say gluing them up or what would you, what term would it's you use? It's more, I'd say, just to get them separated and really stuck to the skin. Yeah. So it gives a little bit more, the more it's stuck, the better it is. Right. So it'll give it a bit more of a colour. So we go through it a few stages, don't yeah. we? Yeah. look a little bit yeah. scary. <laughs> but then I'll show you the, obviously the end result of what they'll look like eventually. But it's completely painless treatment. How long does the treatment take? 45 minutes? Up to 45 to an hour, yeah. Yeah, and how much do you charge for it here? So we charge 50 without a tin, 60 with a tin. Yeah. Tin always gives it a little bit more of a definition to the face. And do you 
tips? How, how often do you recommend people book in? Like, so does it last three weeks? Six, two, about three six, weeks? six to eight. Oh, six to eight. To weeks. maintain right. the hairs, yeah, definitely. To maintain the, the style. It's just side by side comparison once it's been lifted versus not. Um, we're not finished yet. <laughs> We've still got a while to go. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you a before and after for this stage. So this is the first lotion to go on which helps style it, helps keep it in place. And we leave this on for 15 minutes. Looking glam. <laughs> treatment did you say this is like nourishing so this for one the sets it oh, this, this one, one sets, sets it, it yeah right. so it sets where the hairs will just stay right so we have a couple of minutes left just enjoying a lovely head massage <laughs> the hair's gonna be a mess after this but it's okay it needs a wash <laughs> um and yeah we're almost done i'm just in MS. it's very quiet in here they've done it up it looks pretty cool it's all like black and um minimalist i love it so i'm gonna get some food for lunch and for dinner we're in we are in Whew. okay brows oh my god let me just i can't show you a natural day like because we're in a underground car park let me show you when i get home and once i've styled them up properly but a bit of concealer and sorted my face out because when you have a one hour treatment with a head massage and you fall asleep it's uh yeah i don't look my best let's just say that no i really really like the results this time round of my brow lamination i wasn't so sure from having it done previously but i think because i insisted on having them trimmed and not brushed so upright but more slightly you know a bit more natural and i can just fill in any spaces that i want yeah i got a couple of bits from joe malone and from blink brow bar which i'll show you when i get home but for the road i got some snacks for my lunch rather than a full-on sandwich i thought i'm gonna go with these little cute mini sausage rolls um ginger shot bloody love a ginger shot so i've got the mns one i've also already got some sparkling water in the car so i've got that for the road home i also got some coconut just to snack it's on as... into the prototype laughing that's and my for some reason, oh my god stop pause that's my audiobook that i'm listening to and it's sped up if you want to know what book of the month is this month it's called the perfect wife that's actually not even the book we're on i don't think or is it maybe it is the perfect wife it's called and so far i'm 10 chapters in and i'm loving it so if you want to read along and let me know your thoughts then i'm actually going to show you when i get home i have a little book review thing in my um there is just someone walking past so this is very awkward oh and he's getting into the van next to me okay brb okay anyway as i was saying the book little review chart that i have in my bullet journal which i shared on my instagram home stories and you guys seem to love it and wanted some youtube videos on it so i thought rather than do a full video i might just introduce it within this vlog so i'll show you my bullet journal when i get back um what else did i get food wise some mini yum yums for my sweet tooth and for dinner this evening because tom is going to be working late he won't be back till like eight ish and i prefer to eat earlier than that so i got myself a tuna sweet corn salad i'm almost home but i'm just pit stopping at starbucks my windscreen needs a wash pit stopping at starbucks i'm trying a new concoction today as well i'm gonna get a caramel latte with cinnamon syrup in it i'm just trying to do all i can to get that festive pumpkin spice latte flavors back into my starbucks drink and the sun's actually come out here which i'm pleased to see blaze gone all funny i was actually gonna go to the gym i think maybe at some point today it's been a while i might even cancel my gym membership and i want to get back more into my running running i say running lightly because it's more of a jog with a bit of walking in but just getting out and about in the nature rather than 
on a treadmill because when I go to the gym all I pretty much do is just go on a treadmill anyway or do my own thing maybe a couple of light weights but not properly so I feel like it's kind of a bit wasted on me and I've not been in so long that I'm literally just paying 20 quid a month for nothing really verdict this is delicious and I'm actually going to head in to a charity shop in our village I hope they're taking donations because I haven't checked Turn around of you on oh my her body since a lace slow and easy and I can reach you from a distance I can so beautiful I can hear you within the silence Febreze lavender just chilling there this is actually my favorite Febreze scent to use in the bedrooms and what's interesting about Joe Malone appointment today both myself I was with Lydia and Ruby Ruby Holly if you follow her we had our appointment together we had nice arm and hand massages and all three of us were intrigued by the email when we had received it to say that come and explore the lavender scent with Joe Malone we were a bit like mm, I mean if anyone can do a stereotypical grandma scent aka lavender if anyone can do it well it would be Joe Malone and they smashed it it was incredible all three of us were especially about like the pillow mist as well that's another one that we thought was going to be so overpowering with lavender not even overpowering just lavender it was lavender and musk pillow mist and it's incredible it's so so nice it's the first one they've done the live lavender and musk pillow mist retails for 25 pounds which for joe malone is very reasonable it's a great mother's day gift i guess in time for mother's day or even just you know treat yourself <laughs> so we very kindly got treated to a couple of goodies now the actual lavender products themselves there were three scents of which all were amazing wisteria was the most feminine one of which for me that was like my least favorite but i wouldn't not use it it was just a little bit more floral than the other two the other two were my favorite i liked them both equally to be completely honest with you but i do think the silver birch one just slightly topped it for me over the coriander one but to be honest i liked those two equally campaign is beautiful they've got limited edition uh, purple packaging the entire collection is limited edition so there were no samples for the lavender edition so it's a case of get it quick whilst it's in stores and i'm tempted to go and make some purchases myself especially for the pillow mist that for me is a winner anyway very kindly look at that there's a little it's upside down <laughs> monogram ff on the box oh my god that's amazing keeping this forever and then inside we have two fragrances these are two favorites of mine i actually wore this one this morning so i've got a little smaller size that i can pop in my handbag or take away with me this is the basil and then the 100 ml size the scent that i went for is mimosa and cardamom so i've actually got mimosa and cardamom in this size so i was keen for a full size because it is another favorite of mine i just show you quickly what i got from the blink brow bra bbb london.com so she actually used the brow build gel i'll just show you a bit closer up this one in the shade chai and then this is like a clear brow gloss it's called it's one of those that really sets quite almost hard so you have to like work it quite quick and then they're not going to budge all day this arrived the other day which i wanted to share with you from schwarzkopf firstly they include this little fleur d'orange soap if you know me i love my hair oils this one's ylang ylang and mandarin and this one is the Oil Ultime Mediterranean Finishing Oil for all hair types. And they also sent these little like gemstone rollers. So I'm going to put on 
my serums and everything and just working with this it feels so cooling and nice so thank you so much to Schwarzkopf for sending me those this is my bullet journal that I wanted to share with you guys as well I'm just going to briefly talk about it on here because I don't want to repeat myself across every platform and channel so if you do want to see an in-depth page by page head to Freya Farrington home I have highlighted it under bullet journal so that you can just like hold on screenshot and just kind of copy but I essentially based my my bullet journal around um, a couple of YouTubers that I watch that do it on a regular basis and also Pinterest. Bullet journaling, if you don't know what it is, it is creating your own journal on dotted paper like this. This one is from Amazon. It's one of those therapeutic crafty type exercises which actually is great for your mind. If like me sometimes you get particularly anxious or stressed about certain situations which can get you down. I just find doing something takes your mind off any other things that are going on in your head right now. So if you've got anything coming up or if you are traveling and you're a bit uneasy, that's, I think that is why, I've never really thought about it like this before, but I think that's why I like doing puzzles and things. Let me just show you probably my favorite page. I'll show you. Um, I quite like this one. Things to do. So as and when I have any, um, like we're talking about, in fact, we're talking about it today at Joe Malone, restaurants in Manchester, there's so many. I am gonna, as and when I see one that I want to try out, add it to there, or anything that I wanna see in the cinema, any books I want to read, any trips, any place I want to visit. And then I have a little Netflix spread as well, so any series that I watch, I kind of create a little line and then rate it as well out of five. I have my book rating, rate, rate one, but, I don't even know what I'm saying. My book pet spread as well with books that I'm reading and then again a rating. Oh, another one that I like as well is my sleep tracker. So at the end of, I'm on a gratitude little highlight of my day. This is just like, yeah. Tom says I've got too much time on my hands, but I honestly enjoy doing this like in an evening, a weekend. Sundays I love to get out my bullet journal whilst we've got a Netflix series on. So I'm just going to show you that for now. And like I said, if you want an in-depth page by page um, photo where, where you can screenshot it and save it and copy it yourself or just see what I've created, then head to Freya Farrington Home over on Instagram. Um, I'm going to get on with some work, some editing this afternoon and then I have an eye test booked in for tomorrow and I think I'm gonna fail if you can fail an eye test. I noticed my vision's got more blurry. Um, I wear contact lenses anyway but mm, I've noticed I'm having to like squint a little bit more or try and focus my eyes a little bit more so I think my prescription is gonna increase. <laughs> Woo! I was about to switch off and see you guys tomorrow and then the postman arrived. So I got sent some bits from Nasty Girl and also I've got two bags full from Boohoo. So I'm gonna try and rapid fire through these because this is a weekly vlog, not a haul. Nasty Girl, let's just start with. Pound's Tooth Dog Tooth Print is like up and coming. So I thought I would uh, get these two items. This one's, I think I prefer this print. Just to give you an idea as to what it looks like. I'll leave these items linked. Look, I've already got him into my uh, comfy attire for the wind down time for the evening. I will be styling up over on my Instagram if you want to see a full outfit. Oh, this one's quite a lot thicker than what I thought it was going to be, which I'm pleasantly surprised with. Yeah, like this. Pockets. Woo! The last item I picked up from Nasty Gal is another jacket style blazery type thing in this faux leather. I got this one in a 12 so it's a bit more oversized. Oh I love the colour of that. How nice is this? Give it a little bit of a steam and sort it out and properly style it up. But I thought, I thought, I thought this would look quite nice with, layered with a blazer. A blazer. A hoodie. Okay moving on to Boohoo. This one I saw on Ellie Darby's Instagram. She had um, two like vintage 90s style sweatshirts and I just fell in love and I was like I'm getting one of them so I went for the beigey coloured one that she showed 
does it say nebraska this is more for like lounge just chilling around the house i feel like i needed some more sweatshirts the way that ellie darby styled it was with some denim shorts for like a nice spring outfit and i loved that very casual oversized well not oversized but i sized up to an xl in that which actually isn't huge so definitely size up if you want that oversized fit i also got this sweatshirt which i'll show you a bit closer up on the front says wear me instructions place overhead and pull down sharply until it reaches waist please ensure you apply your own t-shirt before <laughs> assisting with others so this is what it looks like in plain black they had this in white as well with the black font okay this one i wasn't so sure about i wasn't sure if it was going to be as puffy as i'd like it to be so i thought i would order it try it and i can always send it back if i'm not so sure it's like a bomber style jacket which i thought with an all black outfit could look kind of cool this is in a uk 10 whoa okay yes this is as padded as i was hoping it was gonna be right i also got this double breasted belted blazer the belt comes separate but you get the idea oh i don't like this i didn't see that sleeve puff sleeve detail hmm okay next item i think from memory this is yeah this is a trench coat in black in a size 10 simple black it's got the belt again which comes separate you can just cinch in the waist i like this yay okay last item in this bag love absolutely love this what size did i get no i did size up to a 12 in this one which i'm quite glad about because i kind of wanted it for now as a layering ah i'm stuck with hoodies and sweatshirts and things but like i said can be transitional into spring it's definitely oversized on me but i really like that oversized fit it's like a is it called a herringbone style um yeah love 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 this is another coat in the same print but i wanted it because it's a different style can you see it's that same print this one's more of a trench style like i was saying earlier i'm after more trench style coats because i feel like they're a nice transition transitional style into spring and it kind of feels like a dressing gown <gasps> so nice so many of you ask where i get my big green massive puffer jacket from but it's really old from misguided so i found a couple similar on asos so i found this one in black i'm not getting rid of the green one i still live in that but as an alternative i thought this black one would be quite nice to wear style up show to you guys if you are interested in that puffer oversized fit jacket now i stayed true to size with a 10 because as predicted it's quite boxy and oversized love the length of it and look how big and oversized it's like having a little duvet around you as i mentioned i will leave everything linked if you want to shop any of these items yourself and let me know if you do i sight test time let's go So I've just come into Wilco's. I just need to stock up on a couple of toiletries and bits. And I also went into Card Factory for Mother's Day cards. There's a Costa and a Costa and a Breggs here, so I might just pick up a bite to eat. And as I'd predicted, unfortunately, my prescription has got worse. Change it up. Oh, the breeze is on half price. They have the vanilla latte one, but they don't have lavender. I need to stock up of my lavender one. Um, so yeah, I've ordered some new contact lenses, which I wear every day, and you get a free pair of glasses as well, which I'll be picking up in a couple of weeks' time. Toilet roll. <laughs> this is what I need. I obviously don't need crockery or anything, but I thought I'd show this set because I think it's really pretty. So they have these little tapas dishes and coasters and big sort of serving bowls and plates. And then they've also got the full 12 piece dinner set there as well for 30 pounds so i think i might keep this in mind for future house i love the stationery that they have here that one looks nice that design um but they have loads of little notebooks and like to-do lists and things I've got some more up here oh what's this 365 day journal capture a thought day that's a nice idea what's this one be kind to yourself oh it's a reflection journal so you could do per day because it's numbered 
something that you are grateful for each day just looking at the pens and pencils for my bullet journal and i came across these who remembers these from school i don't know if it's just our school or not but this is just like a major throwback for me we were also the era of the smelly gel pens if you didn't have every single smelly gel pen then you just weren't allowed in school. I always find these sort of things handy as well and they have some meal plan with shopping list pads. They are £2.75. I think I might get one of these vegan sausage rolls because they are delicious. Oh Christ, this is not what I wanted to come back to. Brilliant. Ooh, bit of uh, glare there. Ah! It's a free car park as well. It's just because I didn't have a, a disc to display the time. <laughs> I just picked up from Greg. I ended up going for a fave cheese onion slice because it's just a go-to for me. It's very naughty of me to have this little treat. I haven't eaten anything yet today though. So I was hungry and I impulsed by, bought, impulsed, oh, food bought from Greg's. Mm. I just love pastry. Also, FYI, the mockers that they do at Greg's are incredible. I never order mockers anywhere, but whenever I go to Greg's, I always get a mocha. I'll show you what I got at Card Factory, actually, because I have a little card storage box. I like to stockpile cards and just, you know, have them handy. And in Card Factory, their cards are the most affordable. I've got my mum's one, but I'm not going to show that, just in case she's watching. They also do these, like, deals of, like, 10 cards for a pound, which is so cheap. 10 cards for a pound. Incredible. So I just stockpiled up with a few. I thought that one was cute. Hope your day is peachy. I got this one, which I thought was quite a nice design. Uh, just for you. Just like more of a generic one. But then I also got this just for you one, which has little um, leaves on it. Time to shine. And I'll show you in the natural daylight my brows a bit more. Actually, is that good? I have just filled in this bit at the end just to like define it because it's quite sparse my actual brow there yeah i just thought i'd show you sort of the day after with a bit of makeup on oh and i've got some brow gel on as well just to help keep it in place good morning i am off to the hairdressers this morning it is 10 to 9 i'm booked in for 9 so i'm gonna head off now and i have that embarrassing moment where my hair desperately needs a wash it got to about eight o'clock last night and I was like mm, I'm gonna have a bath I know I need to wash my hair I can do it in the morning and I was like shoot I've got the hairdressers in the morning and I'm gonna have to go with greasy horrible hair so yeah that's a little bit embarrassing it's like if ever you've had a cleaner you almost have to feel like you have to tidy for the cleaner or you have to do your hair for the hairdressers anyway not today not today it is a bit of a greasy mess but yeah I'm just gonna get my highlights topped up and everything ready for pre-holiday because we are going away at the end of this week which is a little bit like because of all the press and the news and traveling at the minute is in the headlines <laughs> not to because of coronavirus but not gonna let that stop us the only thing that's gonna stop us is if the airline stops us so fingers crossed that won't happen i'm actually going away a couple of weeks after that as well so yeah <sighs> right time to go get my hair done and i'll see you guys at the hairdressers but this is my before my greasy mess. Oh, that's my phone. into the natural light so this is my after nice blunt ends as always i love that at the minute i used to be that kind of girl that was like give me all the layers all the feathering all the volume and now i just like a bit of texture a bit of texture a bit of um difference here with that bit being a bit shorter and then just a blunt 
end. So I had a half head of highlights which just helped brighten it up. I need to, oh I need to redo my makeup there. Tom's en route back now from having been away and I think we're just going to have a nice chilled evening. So I don't think we have too much else exciting to vlog. So I might actually end this vlog here. I've got myself a coffee and some lunch um, and just catch up with some work for the rest of the day. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for next week's and then the week after that will be, I think, it'll be the Belgium one. Brussels. We're going to Brussels if we make it. Who knows? <laughs> Fingers crossed we do. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you all next time. Bye guys.